Good evening, everybody. Oh my goodness, it's the 19th of December, and for those who are joining us live, I have just received news that sadly the Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race for 2020 has been cancelled. It's the first time in the 76 year history of the race that this has happened. Last year we celebrated its 75th anniversary with so much joy and I know that we were all looking forward to it this year in 2020 which has been an incredibly tough year on so many people. With that in mind and with safety at the forefront of everybody's minds, given the cluster that has been building in the Northern Beaches of Sydney, the organising committee have had no choice but to cancel the race. They considered many options in regards to changing the course, even postponing the race, but under the advice of Gladys Berejiklian, the New South Wales Premier, there was no other choice really but to cancel the race in the means of everybody's safety and to make sure that we keep doing what we've been doing in 2020. And is that, is, that is to make sure that we are all able to have so many years into the future. So um, for those who follow Adventures of a Sailor Girl, you will know that the Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race is the first race that I followed with as much enthusiasm as possible. This was to be our ninth race at the start and, and then also to go on to the finish. And I cannot thank without um, enough enthusiasm, Stephen Shield, who just tried to call me as we were going live, and um, the Royal, Royal Yacht Club of um, Tasmania. I mean, uh, those guys down in Tasmania, I was really hoping that we could be there to help you and to promote everything that you guys have been doing at the finish line. Uh, we've had such a great partnership with you over the years. Uh, we, we still have the Launceston to Hobart race and given that I'm in Canberra right now, we could well end up in, in Hobart and, and helping out with the finish of the Launceston to Hobart race, but that's yet to be uh, determined. So um, we, we will be keeping tabs on that, but I cannot give enough praise for, uh, for Stephen Shield and Marine Supplies in Hobart for all of the support that they've given to me at that end and all of my other uh, supporters that have been on board. Harkin, always at the front, they were with me from the get-go, so a big shout out to them. And we were uh, messaging all day, given that, that we were watching the America's Cup racing in Auckland as well. So uh, my best to all of those who are doing the best they can for sailing in uh, a COVID safe environment in Auckland as well. So, whew, I don't know. I mean, it's been a really tough day for me. I've had a lot of ups and downs emotionally. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of people have done because we all really wanted this yacht race to happen. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say except that I know that the the organising authorities from not only the, uh, Royal yacht, uh, the Royal Tasmanian Yacht Club point of view and the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia's point of view, they would have done everything they can to make this yacht race happen because we really needed it to happen. And with it not happening, it just means that we need to do the best that we can leading into Christmas to stay locked down. And, um, you know, I, I'm in a weird spot myself. I don't have a Hobart happening and I probably won't get to spend Christmas with my family anyway. So uh, that just brings to the forefront of our minds what the focus for 2020 has been. And that is staying safe, making sure we don't only think of ourselves, but we think of the person next to us and uh, what, what it really means to be a human and part of humanity. So it's really out of our control and all we can do at this point is to have a very very merry christmas i was going to wear reindeer ears or my elfie hat that i had ready for the hobart race but i thought it wasn't appropriate given that it's kind of a sad point um you know announcing the cancellation of a race that means so much to you um you know i remember back to my days of brinda bella you know, and, and all those things and how much um, the Rolex in your Hobart means to us as not only a sailor, and I mean that not as a sailor girl, but a sailor, because we are all sailors at the end of the day, but as an Australian, um, you know, the Rolex in your Hobart means a lot to us. So um, announcing the cancellation will definitely be, you know, bring a tear to many of our eyes. So I'm really sorry to be bringing this news to you. Um, and that's all I can say. Hopefully in 2021, we can bring you an even bigger and brighter event with 
many, many avenues and you know aspects to our sport, which is such a great leveler amongst all ages, amongst all abilities, and amongst all sexes. Um, you know, sailing is really a fantastic sport, uh, which has been captured by so many, and uh, the event that has really captured so many people's hearts. And as as the sailor girl, you know, everyone asks me. What about the Rolex Sydney Hobart? Have you ever done a Rolex Sydney Hobart? I haven't, but I have covered it for many, many, many years and it means a lot to me and I'm um, so very sorry for those who won't be able to head south this year. So all I can say is please take the time, instead of heading south on a boat, um, please take the time to enjoy what is important in life with those who are closest to you. If you're in lockdown, I'm incredibly sorry, and I hope that you uh, have somebody next to you who is as strong as my partner, Andrew, who is behind the camera right now, bringing this to you right now. And um, I send you all my love and good wishes for 2021 that we will <laughs> really, really enjoy and take all the lessons from 2020, which has been to enjoy the small things in life, the simple things in life, and the adversities that we can overcome and, and be so strong. So. Uh, and, and stronger than we thought. So that's all I have to say really. And I look forward to seeing you for future adventures.